Well, hello, friends. It is your buddy Keith, and I am live again in the control room at SX Recording Studios just outside London in England. I've got another killer Zach Wild guitar to share with you all today. If you are new to the channel, you must, you must hit subscribe, click like on the video, and come join our little family. We've got uh, thousands of us that drool over all these really cool guitars that I find from all around the world. This one came from our buddy Sean here in the UK. He also got us this one, which is epic. We just did a video of this bad boy. And we also have a BFG Zach Wild guitar from him. Gibbo, proper Gibson. But today, right now in this video, we're gonna talk about this Epiphone limited edition Zach Wild buzzsaw model the buzzsaw so the buzzsaw only comes in one finish normally so it comes in orange and black they also have a bfg barely finished guitar buzzsaw if you played doom in the old days on the computer bfg meant something different love that thing but yeah bfg barely finished guitar we have one of those you can check it out on our youtube channel We've, we've had a, a couple of those BFG buzzsaws, and those have a natural finish with the uh, black just kind of silt stamped on the body. But um, this is definitely the boldest Gibson Epiphone model I think that was ever made. These are so rare, they're so special, because Gibson doesn't really do graphics. The only other one that I can think of that really comes to mind recently is, you know, for Jason Hook, they did some sergeant stripes on his. But Gibson doesn't really do graphics and they definitely don't do EMG pickups. Very rare to see these. Uh, earlier Korean models, this is a 2005, they got the EMG passive pickups, the HZ or HZ. Uh, Alexi Lejo from Children of Bodom, very big HZ passive pickup fan from EMG. Uh, later models made in China or a lot of people would go and upgrade them to the 8185 Zach Wild set. The nickel hardware on this really pops, chrome, nickel, whatever you want to call it. I think nickel is the technical finish that they call it. And then here you have a beautiful rosewood fretboard. This is very rare to get rosewood with block inlays. Uh, and then you have the mother of pearl diamond logo there, the Epiphone logo and the split diamond from the Les Paul custom models. And it just looks so, so good. Got double binding top and back. These are, these two models right here are the most valuable Epiphones from the modern era that you can get. They've got Grover tuners on them. They've got expensive pickups. It's top quality. And both of these were made in the Korean factory, which is just where the very best Gibsons are made, uh, or Epiphones rather. But yeah, outside of Gibson's USA factory, once you cross that border and go to a different country, in my opinion, the Korean models are the best ones made. Uh, there were Japanese, like Orville's in the 80s. Those are starting to become real popular and go for big money. I have never had one. I'm definitely got to get my hands on one soon. I am a huge fan of the Japanese ESP Edwards Les Pauls. Those things are insane. And they've got some with some really insane chunky baseball bat necks that you have to check out. But we're going to talk about this guitar still. So you can see brilliant, vibrant orange finish that pops tremendously well. This is the cleanest one I have ever seen. I mean, we're days away from 2021. So this guitar is almost 16 years old. It's crazy. It doesn't look like it. Um, neck is beautiful. Unfinished maple neck. Scarf joint that you see on the Korean models. This you do not see on all the Zach Wild models. Um, limited edition Epiphone Custom Shop. You only see it on the, uh, the Buzzsaw. And I think on some of the later, maybe the Chinese later camo ones, you see. But it's not all, and I don't think I've ever seen a white bullseye, normal bullseye, have that. Which is interesting, because it says custom shop. Limited edition for sure, but Epiphone custom shop. And I wonder what that means. May, I think it's just a marketing thing, but maybe some of you guys uh, are more familiar and no, like, no, 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 over in Korea, there's like two guys in the Korean thing, and uh, they're actually the custom shop, and they're, you know, the senior chief builders, and they work on the best ones. I have no idea. I don't think so. I think it's just marketing. 
but still cool because you can go and tell all your friends i've got a custom shop zach wild guitar ha huh? how you like that got the man there we just talked in the old video or not the old video the other video i did a few minutes ago technically making it older that uh the rings if you look in the silhouette the rings are blotchy that's exactly how they look on the gibson custom shop model and that's how all the Korean models, except maybe a few right when they were doing the transition to China, that's how they should look. And you can see that there's three rings, right? One, two, three. My finger's way too fat. But yeah, three rings there. The Chinese models have four rings and they're super crisp. And that's fine. Uh, and I'm talking about the authorized, correct Epiphone Chinese models, not the fakes. The fakes, fake Gibsons, the fake, literally there's fake Chinese copies of Chinese... <laughs> fake Chinese copies of real Chinese Epiphones, and uh, it just gets crazy. But yeah, um, they'll have the crisp rings. Also, the fakes, they are starting to make them, guys. Go to Alibaba, and just to save a few hundred bucks, it's nuts, but yeah, all super, super glossy, and uh, uh, very gloss finishes. Sometimes they'll have scarf joints, sometimes they won't. A lot of them do, actually, but the dead telltale sign uh giveaway is a super glossy neck these should be very fine light satin finish um very smooth to the touch should not be like ultra reflective no so turn the lighting down i mean that's that's what it looks like in person that's pretty much what it should look like yes you'll see uh this block of wood here has, there's there's two pieces on the heel um and that is totally normal. That's the way they should be built. What else? What else? Oh, on the fakes. I bought one. I actually bought a fake, but I saw it. Totally forgot about that. Never made it to me because I, I looked closer on the pictures and asked them to take it in better lighting. But the fake buzz saws never get the orange right. It's never right. So, so the orange should be very bright. This, how I have the lighting set right now, I'm looking in the phone, is how it looks in real life. And it will be, it'll almost be more reddish. It'll be a little bit more of a red hue. It'll be much darker, the orange. They haven't perfected getting that color right on the fakes. And the body shapes are always weird. You can always tell this area always looks weird. This area, the hips look a little bit weird and, and the knobs are off. So, yeah. <laughs> Sean, bless him on both these guitars. He's got them normal on this one. And then wrapped around the bridge, I see a lot of people, wrapped around the stop tail piece, see a lot of people doing that. And then when he put the new strings on, he uh, put the uh, bridge on backwards, which is all right. We'll forgive that. That's fine. Not the uh, end of the world. Everything still works. When you go change the strings, you can just swap it around. Or you might think it's cool. And uh, some people like being able to access the screws. It's way easier to do it from this way, to be honest with you. I don't know why they, they, they have them over here. And then you have to fight with the pickup. It's, you know, if you see like that. Yeah. But anyway, uh, there we are, dudes. We have had quite a few Zach Wilde guitars on the old YouTube channel. So if you just go to my channel's homepage and search the channel and type in Zach Wilde, you will see loads of cool stuff. Like uh, I ought to show you in this video too. I showed it in the last one, so it's only fair. But uh, yeah, we've got a cool little shrine to Zach over here. This is his personal guitar he played at the London show back in February. He did two shows here in the UK with Zach Sabbath. Wrote a nice little poster there for us. Even called me Father Keith. How cool is that? And we've got a little micro stack. We have tons of cool Zach Wilde gear. Definitely him and Dimebag were my fave guitarists growing up in the 90s. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to come to work every day and see that. We gives us some good vibes awesome i gotta get going guys because next next up is the third zach wild guitar we got from our buddy sean which is the bfg baby bfg barely finished guitar that looks super super cool we already have one with the buzzsaw finish right now at the studio this one's got the bullseye finish so stay tuned coming up coming at you if you want to buy either of these two guitars they will be on Reverb.com very shortly and on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. If you're in America, they start charging this online sales tax. Buy through the website because 
that's not considered a big marketplace. It's still powered by Reverb. They handle all our payments, but you won't get hit with that online sales tax. A little life hack for you there. Um, what else? What else? Oh, socials. Gotta follow us on the socials. At Essex Recording Studios, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All right? Cool, dudes. I will catch you very soon with the next Zach Wild guitar. Later.